Let's just find that Brendan Shaw Will Smith thing. Because I, I don't remember this Will Smith thing that um everyone keeps asking me to talk about. Let me see if I can find it. I might have to search for it. Bear with me one second here, my friends. Um, let's see if I can find it here. Something about Will Smith. I don't actually remember this, so maybe someone else might have uploaded it. But let's see if I can find this shit. Okay. Um. Uh. Mark Muse is saying. Oh yeah. Sorry. Okay, Mark Muse. Thank you. That's to do with that. Yeah, that's to do with that player, right? Recently. Yeah. That 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 movie, Blindside. Um. Starting. Um. What's her name? Uh, the woman that's a fan of Man United, Julie Roberts, right? Julie Roberts is in it. She's a big Man United fan, yeah. And, and the guy originally based on that film, Blindside, is now suing the family because it wasn't as it, you know, as it was intended. So let's see here. Let's see here. Okay. Will Smith, a B Shub story. Wow. Okay. This is fucking. This. Please don't tell me he lied that he knows Will Smith. Please, no. Let's play this clip here. Oh my fucking God. No fucking way did he lie about knowing Will Smith. Let's see this. Hope you guys are not lying to me. Let's see here. Actually, I, 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 I upvoted the post, so I must have seen this. I probably don't remember why I upvoted it, but let's see if this Odo. is... You know, Odo. you know what? That party took all our phones. It was an Oscar. Okay, I do, man. Okay, let's see this. Let's see this. This guy is fucking embarrassing. Let's see this. Will Smith and Brendan Shaw. Okay, let's see. Let's see this. Let's see this because this is fucking insane. Is this guy lying about knowing Will Smith? Oh, no. You know what? That party took all our phones. It was an Oscar party and everyone's uh, in tuxedos. Yeah, yeah. So it, no, there's mm -hmm. no cell phones. Mm -hmm. I've been to those parties. And Will Smith asked me to. Uh, <laughs> Will Smith asked me if I did private training. <laughs> he did. Who? Mm -hmm. Will Smith was like, "Hey man, you're the reason why you private training." Oh, the reason he training. slapped old boy. Oh, I didn't train. You're with the him. reason why Chris Rock. No, I didn't train with him. You I didn't, did it, right? didn't take him up on it. I got different vibes. What'd you man. say to him? No. Want me to hold mitts for you? You, you didn't say no. To I him. promised you. I was a like, guy. Well, at the time, as a current UFC fighter, I'm like, oh, I don't, I don't like hold mitts, dog. If you want to put me in fucking will I whatever the fucking I am legend three, I'm yeah. in. But I don't hold mitts. Dad. Will I am? Um... You get there. And he's got a he's got a, he's got a latex mask on you. Like, oh fuck! I didn't plan on this. <laughs> You're gonna be a zombie. Can you go? <gasps> I like how he nearly said. He basically nearly said, but he kind of pussied out of it. He nearly said that Will Smith, he tried to like go down that lane of like, Will Smith is gay. I got different vibes, like he was trying to fuck him or something. So not only was Will Smith sexually attracted to Brendan Schaub back then, he was also a fan of him in the UFC and wanted him to hold hit mitts for him. What? When he played fucking Muhammad Ali. Yo, the way this guy lies is almost impressive because you could you could feel the lie coming because the start the the beginning was okay like i can imagine again think about this clearly that's what i'm saying like i think brendan's a really sicko liar because he lies with some tr there's always a, a kernel of truth like popcorn kernel of truth in his stories so i can believe at the peak of his powers when brendan was in the ufc I can believe a scenario where he got invited to Hollywood. Like again, Pico, he's in the UFC. He might have been doing fighting the kid, um, <laughs> Jared Mellerick, Mohammed Shaw. <laughs> that shouldn't be funny, but that really is. I can, <laughs> I can imagine a scenario right where Brendan got invited to Hollywood parties back then. I can imagine that scenario. And I can also imagine scenarios, certain Hollywood parties, as per normal, you go to their house or it's a, with certain people where they just want, want you to have your phone and they put it somewhere. And it's not a big deal. People make it a big deal, but you know, whatever. Take your phones away. So I can imagine him going to his party and maybe seeing Will Smith from across the room. I can imagine that happening. But him then not being happy with that lie and saying... He spoke to me. He was a big fan and wanted me to hold mitts. Come on, Brendan. Come on, man. Why are you lying? Smith asked me if I did private <laughs> training. He's, you hear the him boss. shout it twice because no one paid attention to him. And he says it twice. He shouts it across the room to one-up people or to prove how more famous he is or how cool he is. Because this is insane. Normal people don't do this. Normal people maybe say it once. No one's paying attention. Okay, move on. You know? I know 
I know, I know, I know Will Smith. It's like, bro, shut up, man. I've been to those parties. And Will Smith asked me to, uh, <laughs> Will Smith asked me if I did private training. <laughs> he did? Who? Mm-hmm. Will Smith was like, hey, man, you're the reason why you private training. training. Face. Oh, the the he training. slapped, old boy. Oh, I didn't train You're with the him. reason why Chris Rock. No, I didn't train with him. You I didn't, train with didn't him. take him up on it. I got different vibes. What'd you man. say? I got different vibes, man. So Will Smith not only knew who you were, knew that you f- knew who you were, came up to you, wanted you to offer him training, and then also wanted to suck your dick. Come on. Come on, man. Please. Fucking hell, bro. Say to him. No. Want me to hold mitts for you? You, you didn't say no. To I him. promise you, as a guy, to, well, at the time, I was a current UFC fighter. I'm like, oh. Of course I said no to Brendan. Of course I said no to Will Smith. I'm Brendan Schaub. Of course I say no to him. Of course I say no to Will Smith. I'm fucking Brendan. Why do? I, why would I? Why would I? Why would I lower myself to being part of Will Smith's entourage of maybe progressing my career and helping myself out by being a part of his fucking journey, using that as something to kind of propel my career forward so I can become an international movie star? Why would I do that? I'm fucking Brendan Schaub. Of course I wouldn't fucking kowtow myself to fucking Will Smith. How lower myself to that? I'm Joe Rogan's friend. <laughs> I don't, I don't like hold mitts, dog. If you want to put me in fucking will I whatever the fucking I am legend. Th- will I am? He nearly said if you want to put me in will I am. <laughs> will I am? If you want to put me in will I am's butt, right? Will I am personally came? Did he recently come out and say he's a bit of a feminine woman, right? If if you want me to hook me up with fucking will I am, right? <laughs> and we both play robots and I robot. <laughs> Oh, sorry. I'm nearly going to die here. What are you guys saying in the chat? Oh, my God. Let's continue. Three, I'm yeah. in. But I don't hold mitts, daddy. You get there and he's got, a, he's, got a, he's got a latex mask. Oh, did he roll his eyes there a little bit? Did Taylor roll his eyes? This guy, did he kind of roll his... Like, all right, did he kind of roll his eyes with his head? Hold on. I didn't clock that. Did he roll his eyes with his head? Look. I don't hold mitts, daddy. You get there and he's got, a, mitts, he's, got a, he's got a latex mask on. <laughs> he did, not it? He kind of went, yeah, all right, mate. All right. You you told, you told, you told fucking Will, Will Smith that you were too big for him. Didn't he kind of look that way? He kind of rolled his eyes with his head, didn't he? Oh, am I bugging? Please tell me if I'm bugging in the chat. Please tell me if I'm bugging up. I, whatever the fucking I am legend three, I'm yeah. in. But I don't hold mitts, daddy. You get there, and he's got a he's got a he's got a latex mask. He's definitely this guy is definitely saying press X for doubt. If this is if this is um Taylor, he's definitely saying press X for doubt. Taylor does not believe Brendan Shaw. Big up Stinger, good appreciate you for the two dollars, brother. Only mentioned holding mitts after Brian said it. Exactly, 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 bro. Exactly, Stinger, good. Uh, exactly. Um, we're talking. We might have said jokingly or knowingly. Sorry, what's what's talk with here? Will might have said it jokingly, not knowing what to say to this guy, just making conversation. Brendan now tells the story as if Will's seriously wanting his help with anything. Exactly. That's what I'm But again, I think that's the most dangerous part of Brendan. The actual story is decent. Oh, you never guess who bumped I bumped into at this fucking Hollywood party, Will Smith. I don't know if he recognized me or if he saw my cauliflower, my cauliflower ears and stuff and thought I could fight. But he was asking me suggestions about training and what kind of, you know, sparring he should do and shit. And I was like, bro, I don't, I don't hold, I mean, I hold on a miss. I'm a current fighter. I've got a fight camera. I mean, like, I was so confused. That's a better, that's a funnier story than trying to say he knew you, wanted to fuck you and also wanted you to hold mitts. Like, come on, what? You wanted to do like a like a fucking naked sparring session with him? Like, come on, bro. Like, come on. Why lie? Why lie? Naked sparring session with Will Smith, right? That's what you wanted to do. Cool. We'll go back to the, like, what's that joke said? We're going to go back to the dojo and suck each other off. Like, you wanted to do one of those type of jokes, isn't it? And suck each other's dicks. Like, bro, like, come on, man. Come on. You're that amazing, right? 
all the guys want to fuck you every fan in from here to portland knows who you are you stop fights between fucking antifa and proud boys like come on bro come on everyone's a big fan even fucking will smith all right cool okay okay um <laughs> okay <laughs> what are you guys saying here um float like a papa fly sting like a bee yo a side of scissors have been on fire you've been on fire float like a papa fly sting like a bee <laughs> get it b b oh good brilliant brilliant um sure is two weeks away from converting to islam i would love for that to see that pivot to hear him fucking you know, to, to, to hear him saying Alhamdulillah on his podcast without irony I would fucking kill it I would die if I heard him say Alhamdulillah on his fucking pod <laughs> <laughs> he started praying mid pod yo I swear to god oh. he went to Mecca and shit imagine Brendan going to Mecca <laughs> oh fucking hell man honestly oh my god anyway um oh that was brilliant thank you i think stinger goose one kept pushing me to play that clip thank you so much bro honestly this might be up there again i need to make a list i'm gonna make a video i'm gonna make a proper edited video with fucking cuts and video clips and shit i need to make a video of like the top 10 brendan shaw lies like you know and just kind of go through them because some of these lies need to be documented because like I say, I think there's a kernel of truth, but that he just goes crazy with it because he just wants to always look like the most amazing guy in the room at all times. Like he legitimately reminds you of that neighbor. I keep speaking about it a lot, but that neighbor that I grew up with who used to lie about the girls he was fucking, he used to lie about the computer games he had. He lied about knowing karate. He lied about his dad being in the fucking SAS. I don't know if you guys know what the SAS is, but essentially it's our version of like the Marines in the UK, right? Like, yeah, like that guy, neighbor, my kid, the neighbor next to me used to lie about his dad being in the SAS. That's why he was never at home. Then when we got older, we found out his parents just divorced. <laughs> you know, his parents just divorced. We, he, he kept trying to explain the reason why his dad wasn't around because he's in the SAS, but his parents just divorced. Can you imagine that? Somebody lying about their dad not being around and saying that they're, they're in the Navy SEALs. <laughs> Brendan reminds me of that kid so much. I swear to God, big up John. John, wherever you are, if I ever find you in real life, we're going to have a big laugh about this because you were horrible growing up with. Like, I hope hope you remember. Honestly, if I ever find this John guy, if I ever find you, I forgot your surname, but if I ever find you, we need to laugh about it over a beer because this John guy was the same guy that he pretended that he would, there was a girl in his room and he got us to kind of all kind of creep up next to his window had like a balcony thing you could kind of jump on and he got us to all kind of peek at his window while he's hooking up with this girl allegedly and it was just him under the duvet with a pillow that's the kind of kid. so that's why i kind of despise liars i think because i grew up with people like this i grew up with guys who would lie they had girls over and they were under the pillow <laughs> under the duvet with a pillow <laughs> i would i grew up with guys who instead of just admitting their parents got divorced would lie and say their fucking dad's in the special forces their dad's away in fucking afghanistan <laughs> fucking fighting the mujahideen could you could you like come on man oh my god man honestly john wherever you are you're a fucking psychopath man i hope you're doing well but we need to laugh at us over a beer we have to <laughs> <laughs> Papa, Papa and John are the two pods combined, a uh, two piece in a pod. Sorry, um, but yeah, what are you guys saying here? Uh, um, Crash is saying the UFC was a lot different than Brendan was in it. Uh, Kelly Knight says I love your voice, Angelic. Big up Kelly Knight. Appreciate the compliments, but you know my voice is a bit of a madness. I'm not gonna lie. 